Hello Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for July 1st to the 15th. Happy birthday to my beautiful Cancer brothers and sisters. I'm a Cancer, my birthday will be on July 15th, so I'm really excited for this Cancer season. Um, I think it's going to be popping. I think a lot of us are just, you know, what's happened has happened. What we need to be, let it be. And if it's going to come in our way, then it's meant to be. And if it's not, then it's spirit protecting us from things that are not to be meant in our life. Um, so I really felt that strongly with some of the cancers I'm tuning into. I feel like a lot of you are either currently getting us over someone or completely over someone. So congratulations, Cancer. I just feel like there's a strong connection between the two of you, um, whoever you're thinking about as you watch this reading. But, and you know, this isn't going to resonate with every single Cancer, right? Um, there's so many cancers in this world, unfortunately, I can't read for all of them. But um, this is for anyone with the Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, yeah, I think that there was a very strong connection between the two of you, Cancer. But, you know, if a dog can do the same tricks before you get bored of it, right? And actions speak louder than words. And I think for a lot of you, that person was just not putting in the effort or... A lot of you, it was like they were just hiding the shit out of how they felt about you, whether that was through insecurity or whatever. So I think a lot of you guys are just like, whatever, like, I'm done. I'm done putting in the effort. I'm done putting in the time. Uh, you know, what happens, happens. Sending love your way, but, or, you know, for some of you who aren't sending love your way, peace. Um, you know, I'm going to do me. So I think you guys are starting off your July season really beautifully, really strong. But I think whoever you're connected to is realizing that you're putting your energy elsewhere and they're not liking it. Um, and that's for some of you, okay? Or they're just like noticing the telepathic energy that you guys had with each other, you know, energetic connection is gone. Um, and they're not too happy about that. But anyway, there's a couple things I want to say before we get started with this video. Um, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. Wow, guys, like, I'm amazed. I'm floored. So what I'm doing is that I'm going to do a giveaway for this deck. Um, this is the deck I use for my general love readings, um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. I'll put a link in the description box of how you can win this deck from me. I'll select three winners by July 20th. Um, another thing is that I am starting to accept personal readings. You guys can visit my website at www.mermaidscalestarot.com to book a reading with me, and that will be in the description box as well. Um, and also, thank you for the show up for the contest I had um, regarding a free personal reading. I'm going to be rerunning those every month, and I'll be selecting one winner to receive a free personal reading from me. So, um, let's get into it. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. Um, this isn't going to resonate with every Cancer. If it doesn't, I suggest checking your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs as well because because of the planetary placements in the sky, that could resonate with you a lot more at a given time. Um, cross watchers, you're very welcome here as well. I may be picking up on your energy, but feel free to flip the scenarios if you felt like that resonates with you more. Um, but because this is a Cancer reading, I'm going to be seeing Cancer a lot. Um, we all have masculine and feminine energies, right? So please don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. I am using this Kipper deck. So there are cards such as uh, main male or main female. Um, you know, take it how it resonates with the energies, right? With the main masculine energy or main feminine energy. Okay, so again, don't put gender on the cards. But let's get started. I am going to be using a new spread as well because that's what you guys voted on. You guys wanted a new spread, so... Um, I'm going to do one for first of the Cancers who are thinking about someone, maybe in a relationship with someone or, um, you know, has someone on their mind. And towards the end, I'm going to do a quick reading for the singles and what's coming their way, okay? Angel Spirits and Guides. Please provide me with the first card to set out Cancer's reading. How does Cancer feel about the person they're thinking about right now, currently? How does Cancer feel about the person you're thinking about?
Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how they feel about their significant other, their person that's on their mind. You may be in no contact with this person, or you may be like talking to them, or you may be in a relationship with them, who knows. <laughs> but how do you feel about them currently? Damn, Cancers, <laughs> you guys must have moved on. You're like, mm, I don't give a damn. I don't feel a damn about them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no cards are falling out. There we go. Okay. How does Cancers person of interest feel about them? Ooh, okay. So first starting out with this, um, how you feel about them um, with the Four of Pentacles, so there's a, some things I'm getting here with this, okay? So for the feminines, I feel like for a while, maybe you were holding on to this, right? The feminine energies I'm picking up on. For a while, maybe you were holding on to it. Maybe you did have hope in the connection. Maybe you thought things would turn around. And there was a lot of passion there. There was definitely a deep connection that you felt. And they felt it too, but I think for the feminines, you're just kind of complacent about it now. Maybe you've put in a lot of work. It was a lot of effort um, with the fan there, you know. You just had to air yourself off. You're like, you know, this is more effort than I'm actually willing to put in. So, you know, I'm kind of, I feel uh, for some of you are disconnected now, bored. Um, you know, I think you guys are really enjoying yourselves. She's laying on a lawn chair, you know. She's taken, you know, her relaxation time working on her. She's focused on herself. Her eyes are closed, right? So for the feminines, I'm really picking up, you know, that whatever effort you put in, you're just relaxing now. You're like, look, what happens, happens. Um, I'm just going to let it be. And whatever comes to, you know, fruition, great. But I'm not going to put in my work anymore. And for the masculines, I feel like for the masculines, you're definitely holding on to this person you're thinking about. Um, and I see that maybe if you guys are in no communication, maybe you do check in on their social media, not in a creepy way, but just to see how they're doing, what, you know, what they're doing, if they're doing okay. I'm not seeing it so much as like a jealous kind of thing. I'm seeing it as like, oh, you know, I... What we had was cool, what we had was real. Um, you know, they're still my friend. Um, or even I have friendly feelings towards them. I'm gonna, you know, just treat it, you know, you'll be gracious and um, cordial with them kind of thing. But there's still heat there. There's still strong passion, right? Even if you're siding with the side that you're kind of complacent with, there's still a connection there. But, it's, it is what it is, right? Like, I think a lot of you guys are just feeling like, you know, I'll hold on to the connection that we have to an extent that I feel it and I remember it and I'll learn from it. But as far as, you know, waiting on it any longer, I don't feel like you guys are. I think, you know, for a lot of you, um, with the feminine energies I'm picking up on right now, I see you guys, I see your guys' bodies, I don't know if <laughs> during the winter or spring before, you know, summer hit, you guys have been working on your bodies and you're feeling really good about yourselves and you're putting on that bikini or your lingerie and you're like, damn, <laughs> this feels good. For the masculines, um, if you guys haven't, I'm feeling like you guys should book a massage appointment. I feel some tensity in your back or in your shoulders maybe you've been experiencing. Um, and I would definitely, maybe you're just like, maybe a little stressed. I don't know whether it's regarding like work or just the connection in itself, but I think you guys should book a massage appointment or if you're, you know... Maybe some of you are masseuses, but you're feeling like, whatever the case may be, um, 
although maybe some of you are complacent, I do feel like if this person was to turn around and to, you know, actually show through their actions that they're willing to change, I think you guys would put in the effort again. But this person's going to have to show a lot more. And I don't think you guys are going to get back in the connection if it's just like a DM or a text saying, hey, how are you doing? I miss you with, oh, boo, 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 all this shit. You know, like, I think it's really going to have to show a lot of effort before you put anything in. How they feel about you, um, Six of Wands, uh, they're still very passionate about you. You could be dealing with, um, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but they see victory with you. Um, even if you guys have disconnected yourselves or pulled your energy away, they definitely still see you as like a prize. A prize that they want to go towards, a prize that they still want to fight for. Regardless if you're in communication or not, this is how they feel, right? They may be playing, like some of it's like a little bit of an ego game. I'm picking up an ego from this person a bit. Um, I feel like some of them, they see you as kind of arm candy for the men and the women. Um, that they just want to like you know, hold on to, you guys could also, you Cancers could also have um, fire in your chart as well. It's possible you guys have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. Um, maybe a fire sign rising, I'm getting, or a moon, specifically. But they want to reach out to you if there is disconnection. They want to make the effort into it. And I do believe they're going to soon. But, yeah, they're still very passionate about you. And they see a victory with you, or they want a victory with you. Maybe reconnection, reconciliation, or just like maintaining that fire between the two of you if you're in a relationship currently. There's definitely the rabbit here, right? Um, which to me is like fertility. Um, a lot of, they feel for you guys, a lot of you could be like, they see being really good mothers or fathers, wanting you to be the mother of their child, the father of their child. Um, and with the dove here too, <laughs> if there has been ego in their way, they've definitely been hiding it and they definitely have some sort of feelings for you on a deeper level than just what's, um, you know, superficial. Yeah, they may think you're beautiful, they may think you're handsome, but it's more than that. Even if they say elsewise or act elsewise. I'm getting for some of you, they just really are hiding their feelings. But they have plans. Oh, they have plans, okay? Like, they're not planning on letting this go. Okay? So... What does Cancer want from the relationship or the connection? What does Cancer want from the connection between the two of them? Yeah. What does Cross Watcher or significant other or person on Cancer's mind want from the connection? Hmm. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're healing from this connection, okay? This is the five of um, cups in reverse. So you're healing from this. Whatever happened, whatever didn't happen, whatever you were waiting on and, you know, waiting for them to finally say how they feel or actually act on how they feel no matter what they say, you know, and what they didn't do, I'm getting that you're coming out of this. You are healing from this situation. And for a lot of you, I don't know if you're really expecting, you know, so much as another proposal, another hit up. I think for a lot of you, you've kind of accepted that this person's just at this time or in the past or just now, maybe going into mid-July, they're just, you know, 
still going to hide their feelings, still going to play games like as if they don't care, still going to, you know, not show you what you need to be given in order to really feel like the connection's worth having. Um, I think this did really hurt you, Cancer, in the end of June or even from the beginning of 2019, maybe you've had this connection with this person. And time and time again, it's like they come into your life or they're part of your life. Everything's, you know, saucy, uh, you know, sexy between the two of you. And then all of a sudden, it's like they dip or they just like leave you feeling like you were just some sort of either like an option or like that you would always just be there so they can just get in and out of your life because they know you'd stay but i maybe for a little time cancer you did but i don't feel like that anymore i think really you're healing from this and you're like you know i'm done i'm done unless they show me elsewise unless they put into care with what they do and when they actually match their actions with their words then I'll maybe, you know, get something from this. But for now, from the connection cancer, you're just healing. You're just healing. And I think for a lot of you, sure, they I, I see them do trying to come back to you or wanting to come back to you. But cancer, it's like, if they reach out to you first, I don't see you really being like, so relieved or so happy that they came back i mean maybe for some of you not all of you but a lot of you the ones i'm tuning into it's like yeah hi nice to see you uh you know this again like please don't start this again unless you really want to do something about it and if they come into your dms if they text you if they call you i feel like you're just not gonna take the bait at first they're gonna have to show a lot what they want from this connection. So we have the tower and the two of wands. So a lot of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, specifically Aries, but a lot of you could also be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, so <laughs> this is something. For those of you Cancers who have moved on from this person and maybe you guys have been seeing other people or you've been interested in mingling with others, they're taking note of that, okay? They're taking note of it and they don't like it one bit. They are jealous. Jealous. They don't want to see you with another person. They may be, you know, they may, be, may be watching your social media. I'm getting for some of you, it's like they're almost like, I... This is a very small group of cancers and I don't want to scare a lot of you because this is such a small group, but I almost feel like this person either like uh, knows kind of like where you live. Maybe they'll drive by your house because they feel that need to just see if your car is there or just by being around your house or where you work or like where you go to hang out. They just feel somewhat still connected to you, but that's not for a lot of you, but two of wands as well with the tower it's like this realization that they want you cancer for the feminine um energies it's like they still feel connected to you you're still a part of them and they see that fire between the two of you and now it's like they want to do what they can to make that plan out to you know, go hunting for my cancer kind of thing. Like, okay, I have the resources, I have the tools, I, I know what cancer wants from me now. Maybe some of you, they'll ask you out to dinner. Um, they'll ask you out to a meal, maybe. Um, and for the masculines, I do see the masculine cancers. I do see the feminines reaching out to you um, before you reach out to them. So, like, because I'm saying this with the the leg reaching out maybe for the masculines too um whoever you're connecting with it's like they keep on like although like things have ended things have you know you left things the way they were it's like they still the you know person you're dealing with still texts you 
but it's not like enough to be like oh let's start things over again but it's like these weird little check-ins like oh hi like how are you doing or i thought of you because i saw i don't know something you two share of interest like a like a tv show or a song and they thought of you and then they reach out to you saying that and you're like oh well that's nice <laughs> like and i can see that for some of the feminines too but it's like they want or have this realization from the connection that you're the one they want to move forward with. Absolutely, but I want to get a bit more of a clarity from this tower moment. I kind of see want to want to see what sparked this tower moment or what does it involve? What does this tower moment involve? What does this tower moment involve? something spark it or is it involving something what's going to set off this tower moment for them it's going to be sudden I think cancer like for those of you who I said like you put your energy away from them it's like it's going to hit them energetically at once like oh shit cancer's not putting up with my shit anymore official person okay so to me what I'm getting here is some of the people you're involved with maybe they're like a a police officer uh they're a veteran um they're in the army currently or you know wherever country's army or military base they're in um or maybe they're getting some news regarding you know an official rank that they'll be receiving and this is kind of sending them into a sort of a epiphany, like, an, okay, and for small of you too, a small amount of you, um, this person could have been in jail or on parole or on probation or something, and maybe they're finally going to start getting out of that um, probation, parole, um, or get out of jail. This official person's going to kind of let them out and then they'll have that opportunity to pursue you fully or whatever the case may be. That's for a small amount of you, but others of you, it's like if this person is in a high ranking sort of position, either in um, the military or in their own corporation or what have you. Um, I also see this as being like something like finally a serious realization is coming to them, like something that like maybe they took for granted before but they're seeing now, like, I'm also seeing from this too, intuitively, it's like, maybe Cancer, they're kind of seeing the warrior within you. Like, damn, Cancer's really not putting up with my shit. They have their, you know, their swords ready. With all the shit I put them through, they're still standing tall. They're a soldier. They're, they were my ride or die, I'm getting for some of you. Like, you really were, like... They're seeing you for your strength. They're seeing you for your, you know, position of... I'm just saying, like, you know, strong-hearted, strong-willed. You know, maybe before they thought they could play with you, but they see you now as being someone who... Maybe you've gotten a, um, a promotion or a rise of rank in your job, Cancer, or um, if you're in the military, Cancer. Again, cross-watchers, take what resonates, right? So you're free to flip it, but something about rank and position or seeing you as like that soldier that damn like cancer still standing strong i thought cancer you know was just like this um person who's just always going to take my shit no they're strong they're you know with cancers it's like people say we're so emotional or so sensitive i mean yeah but we are definitely some of the like if not the most resilient ass sign in the zodiac we go through some shit but we get up every single time, you know, it's like what, um, Cardi B says, like, you know, hold me down nine times, but I get up 10. Like they see that from you. I feel this is what I'm getting from the combination of the two cards. All right. And what is the final outcome going to be for July? What is the final outcome going to be for July? 
beginning of July for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Cancer. What is the final outcome going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Love it, Cancer. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull, and I'll read them together. Um, one card from Spirit and what Spirit has to say about the relationship. You know what? I'm going to pull two. I'm going to pull one card from energetically what um, the person on your mind is thinking of. I'm going to do it like the old spread. Yes, that's what Spirit has to say. And let me pull a card from the other individual. Okay. So first of all, Cancer, yes, honey, we got the Queen of Wands. So again, gender does not matter, male or female. You are attractive. You are attracting. You're magnetic. You're the life of the party. It's our, like, it's our um, season, okay? So we're feeling this way. We're in our power. We're strong, especially with this connect uh, combination right here, official person. It's like people are seeing you, Cancer, for your rank. You are royalty in their eyes right now, and your royalty is the outcome, you know? Single or together, you're going to be fine. You're going to be sexy. You're going to be attractive. You're going to be making people laugh. People are going to have their eyes on you. And again, you could have um, Aries Scorpio, or Aries, sorry, Aries Leo or Sagittarius in your chart, but you're going to be feeling good, smelling good. Um, you know, having charming conversation, making people laugh. Um, and I could see, and I'm getting this person is having it, like with the tower especially, very, they're going to notice that people are noticing you. They're going to notice that people are commenting on your pics or when you post stuff about going out or when they see um, pictures of you going out and things, they're gonna, not going to, they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad that they miss, you know, they've been treating you like this, that not the queen or, you know, royalty position, what have you, that kind of magnetic energy is in yourself. Some of you cancers dress really well, and they love that, okay? Some of you cancers, um, I'm getting for some of you cancers, maybe for the season you've been wearing glasses, but you're going to start using contacts um, or thinking about using contacts. Um... Some of you Cancers have really nice hair, beautiful hair, and they love your hair and have a really nice ass, okay? Um, but people are just allured by you. People are, you may Cancer all of a sudden and be seeming like, God damn, like, I'm getting all these, like, um, requests, like, uh, you know, these proposals. Maybe you'll start noticing people, like, you know, saying that you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're hot, you're sexy. Let's go, um, let's, let me take you out. Let me show you a good time. For some of you, I'm getting some people are asking you to go shopping and you're like, okay, <laughs> it's my birthday. Um, or even just like, you want to, you know, you're not going to let this weigh you down. You're not, you're rising above it. You have everything you need to court. Like, you know, some of you, like I said, your body's looking good. Um, or even that you're just putting out that energy of independence, um, beauty, attraction, and everyone's noticing. And Spirit's saying you deserve love. Of course you do, Cancer. You deserve love. You are lovable. Don't ever feel elsewise. You know, you can achieve whatever you set your sight on. Look at that. Like, you're the Queen of Wands, right? Like, if you see someone that you're like, you know what, I'm going to try to strike up a conversation with them. They look, you know, good to me and I like their personality. Spirit's saying, yeah, go for it. You're looking good too. And this person's definitely noticing you. And whatever you're going to put your um, target on and, you know, draw back the string and let it go, it's going to land on where it needs to land. You deserve love. And for how they feel about you, Cancer... Yeah, they feel like you're their soulmate, you know? And from what I was picking up with all the fire, too, the passion. Now, you know, with that tower moment, they're seeing you being strong. They see you on your two feet. They see you as the goddamn queen of wands. 
they see you as a soulmate. And for some of you, you're like, well, that's great and all, but they're gonna have to show me and I'm absolutely on you or with you with that. Um, and for others of you, it's like if you were like wondering, well, damn, like they never reached out to me like that. They've, oh, you know, they never showed me. It's because for a lot of you, I'm getting, they were hiding their feelings whether it was from past rejection, whether it's from ego, whether it's they don't want to be hurt, whether it's they're intimidated by you, whatever the case may be, they view you as their soulmate. Beautiful reading. Let me get into, um, let's do a spread for the singles really quickly of what's coming your way and advice from spirit. How are my single cancers currently? What is my single cancers energy currently? What are my single cancers energy? What are my singles cancers energy currently for the first half of July? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes. What is coming cancers way? Single cancers, what's coming your way? Okay. And what's the outcome? What's the likely outcome? My single cancers. What's the likely outcome for my single cancers? Likely outcome for my single cancers. Okay, wow. So I am going to say cancer. Um, for the single cancers out there, I am seeing reconciliation. A lot of you, it's like, oh, I don't want this past person. I just got over him. Um, but look, you could be a Leo um, Cancer Cusper or you could have Leo in your rising moon or Venus. But you, your energy right now, your strength, you have overcome so much. I'm getting, for some of you, you've really been through the ringer when it comes to relationships like people after person after person it either just fell through didn't work out or you felt like people kept on taking advantage of you or just using you some of you are very beautiful okay and like you felt like people were just using you and handsome as well for your looks maybe or because you're really good at sex i'm getting for a lot of you um that you know you felt just kind of some sort of like hookup or you know plaything but cancer single cancers you're strong you're shining like with that whole you know I'm getting that whatever you went through you healed and now you're standing strong and you're ready to go out again you're ready to meet new people you're ready to um, venture out and explore and the only reason why I'm saying you know about reconciliations because we have the three of cups here um, so what's coming your way is either it's like your, you know, it's your birthday season. You're either going out a lot and you'll meet someone maybe out on, um, you know, like a birthday lunch or brunch or like getting drinks or at a club where everyone's having a good time. You'll probably meet, I feel like whoever's coming your way, it could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, um, that you guys are going to meet having a great time or you know this is someone that's coming back into your life that could have cancer scorpio or pisces in their chart and they want to they want to you know reconcile with you they see how strong you are they see how much shit they put you through and how you're still standing how you're still there and they want to you know for a lot of you i'm getting that they knew, you, either you knew how to touch them in the right places or they knew how to touch you in the right places. 
They love and miss kissing your neck, feeling on you. You have, for a lot of you, a very smooth skin or you have really clear, beautiful um, skin for some of you. Of course, not all of you. And for strength too, some of you may have like lost a little bit of weight or you've been wor really working on your health, your body, and you're looking good. Like you did like the whole snapback kind of thing, like you know, bounce back and you're looking better as ever and now they want to come to you. But others of you, you could be meeting people just by celebrating your um, birthday going out or with, you know, at a family event that's of course not anyone related to you but maybe through like some family friends or, um, you know, just anywhere where you're having a good time, it's likely you'll meet someone there if this isn't someone from the past that wants to reconcile, reconcile with you. And likely outcome, the Emperor. So either you were dealing with an Aries in the past or an Aries could be coming towards you. Also Scorpio too. Um, they have plans, okay? Uh, they, when they're going to meet you, it's likely that they'll want to immediately start, you know, some sort of commitment or long-term kind of thing. Um... They'll, you know, they, they have, they're going to be highly, highly sexually attracted to you, but they're going to want to make sure that they have everything in set, in plan, so that when they ask you, you know, do you want to go out with me, there's not going to be very many holes for you or the plan to fall through. They're an emperor, maybe they're going to be older than you, maybe they'll, for some of you, if it's at work, it could be your boss, or it could be a co-worker that has high rank. Um, ooh, sorry, I'm kind of drawn to that there. Um, they have some very sexual, this person's, you know, if this is someone who hasn't approached you yet, um, they've been thinking about you in very, uh, naughty ways, okay? And they're ready to provide you everything that they can show that they're worth it. Um... Some of them may have like a very nice house, very nice car, very nice clothes. Um, but they want a counterpart. They want their, you know, person they can rule their empire with. Very nice single cancers. And so I'm going to pull um, advice from spirit for my single cancers. What is the advice from spirit for my single cancers? Chemistry, yeah. So whatever's coming towards your way, there's strong magnetic connection here. Um, you know, for me, this is kind of a soulmate card. Some, you know, because of the light right there, first of all. And it's like soulmates. It's like, you know, you could have multiple soulmates in your life, but it's someone that when you meet them, it's like automatic attraction. It's like, I want to get to know you more. Here, let's go to the side. Um, of this bar, this place that we're meeting, and let's just talk, just you and I. And it's just like the things you're interested in, the people you like, or the things you like to do, it's like you guys are so connected and you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your heart chakra, you'll feel it in your sacral. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, no, sacral. Your sacral chakra. Um, you'll feel it very intensely, and there's going to be a huge chemistry spark, so... My single Cancers, things are looking good. All right, Cancer, that was your general love read for July 1st to the 15th. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, again, if you want to win this deck, I'll put um, you know instructions in the description box. If you want to book a personal reading with me, um, I'll put the info in the description box as well. Thank you so much, Cancer. Again, happy birthday and take care.